Well, chances are you've come across a few TED Talks online. On Wednesday of this week, it is TEDx Detroit at the Masonic Theater, a celebration of ideas pouring forth from the D. Charlie Wahlberg is the executive director and curator of the event, and with him, one of this year's speakers, John Donovan, who is the creator of one of the most extraordinary annual events in Detroit, Theater Bazaar, coming up also next month at the Masonic. We'll get to that in a second. Charlie, let me start with you, because uh, a lot of people have seen TED Talks. When they originate from someplace, and this is the 10th edition here, right? Uh, when they originate from Detroit, it, it, it's different though, isn't it? I mean, you wanna, you wanna give it a sense, a tie to its place. So everyone we have speak at our events over the year have some sort of Michigan or Detroit tie in. They were born, educated, or, or doing work here. Yeah, so the, then what is, the, what is it that you want coming out from here? The idea that Detroit is produ Michigan is producing these kinds of thinkers, or is it more than that? Well, I think when we started back in 2009, the narrative about Detroit was much different than it is now. You know, yeah. it was burning, bleeding, or bankrupt. That's what got the news. Now Detroit is the, you know, the Renaissance city and startup city and all these great <laughs> things coming out here. We've known that for a long time, you know? <laughs> and so we wanted to shine a light on cool people doing cool things and let people know that, yeah, maybe some of the bad stories are out there, but there's people all over Detroit that are constantly reinventing themselves and their art and their craft, and let's celebrate that. Well, one of the cool things is Theater Bazaar, Absolutely. which is uh, coming up next month. If you have never heard of Theater Bazaar, I, I find it very difficult, John, to describe to people exactly what it is. How do you usually describe it when people ask you what it is you've been up to for months now? Yeah, I have, I have a hard time describing it too because <laughs> there isn't anything else like it in the world. So it's, it's just a massive, immersive art installation on an unprecedented scale. It's the greatest masquerade on earth. <laughs> Some people describe it as a walking dream. Yeah. It's, uh, it's life changing. My daughter described it to me as Baz Luhrmann meets Tim Burton, which is, I, I think, on the money. It is very opulent, yeah. and yet there, it also has uh, some of the macabre uh, attached to it and all the things that we sort of want around uh, Halloween. It's a but decadent I, darkness. It is. It started, though, as, as really um, almost like a blind pig. You guys yeah. were kind of running around hiding from the police. In fact, not successfully one year when you got busted at the, at the state's fairgrounds and had to move it. But now that it's become, gone almost legit, I guess. You're doing everything the right way. Can it keep its ragtag sort of underpinnings? I think so. I think it still maintains the same integrity that we started out with. It's, it's still like, I'm still punk rocker at heart. I'm still <laughs> thumbing my nose at everything. And, uh, and we're pushing every law we can and still hiding things here and there. So it's, uh, it's yeah, I mean, it's, it's the most fun you can have legally, I guess. Well, the, the great thing here, Charlie, would of course be for people to, in other, uh, around the country to watch his message and think, yeah, we should do that here, but, but only we have John here. So you can't, everybody can't replicate it, can they? I don't know how you describe well, it. I, see, I think the challenge we have as, as business executives is we read the same magazines, we go to the same conferences as everyone else in our industry, and we become experts. But creativity in business, in art, in any field yeah. is about cross-pollination. So if you're only looking at the same things as other people, you're only gonna have the same ideas as other people. So with TED, you know, TED originally stood for technology, entertainment, and design, three fields that drive innovation. So a TEDx conference really is about cross-pollinating. We'll see amazing art, we will see medical science, we'll see VR, we'll hear about young entrepreneurs, old entrepreneurs, educators, uh, we have uh, dancers and, and uh, fine arts, you know, all these different things coming into your head in little nuggets. You know, it's, it's, it's yeah. for a curious, optimistic mind with a short attention. And you come away with, uh, with a spring in your step and the fire in your belly burning in all these new ideas and, uh, and new collaborators to create new things with. In fact, John, so what do you feel like is your marching order when you step out to talk at a TED Talk uh, about what it is you do? I think part of it is like you know talking about like people reading the same business magazines and the same you know kind of those same ideas like I've never read a business magazine in my life. I think part of it is like we aren't experts. It's a group of people that normally aren't doing the job that they do at Theater Bazaar in their day job. We're doing things that uh, that we're doing that because no one's told us we can't. It's like we're it's <laughs> like there, there's no box. It's just let's let's go for it all. And then talking about it, TED Talks is. Uh, 
it's more about creating something that's bigger than the sum of its parts. It's the, the community that's been formed, the people that have come together to create this thing. It is massive. And if, 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 if you told us what we were going to do, what we're doing now a few years ago even, I would have Might left. have scared you right out of it. Right, completely. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's terrifying every year. It's brutal and hard, and it's just, and we're still throwing everything we can at the wall and seeing what sticks and then figuring out how to make it work and trying to uh, create these dreams and make them tangible. Uh, you need tickets if you want to go to Theater Bazaar, and uh, we'll put a link on Click on Detroit. Um, the uh, only way I can describe it is it's a little bit like getting to walk around in your mind. It feels that immersive. It's, uh, I don't know how many different floors you, you cover. Eight floors. Eight floors of, of different experiences to see. It is, it's, it's, I, I think it's only fair to point out it's basically an adult evening because there's a, yes. a fair burlesque uh, sort of uh, component to this. But um, there's barbershop quartet and a train ride and an ice cream <laughs> parlor and then there's burlesque and fetish and I mean it's everything and anything but yeah it's very adult. Yeah, it is. It is. But we'll put a link uh, in case for those who uh, have never experienced it, and it's really the only way to talk about it. But the Moulin, like, yeah, the Moulin Rouge, redone as Nightmare Before Christmas. Is, that's that's as, it. As you were saying, that's you know, exactly really, it. It yeah. is. It is. Um, what do you suppose is, explains the, the the popularity of TED Talks? I mean, I, I suppose if we just started out and put it on paper and said this is going to be a bunch of people giving talks about technology, it, it would have sounded dry as toast. These things have gone. It, it's 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 almost become it's it's almost become a, a verb. We're going to TED Talk this. I think anytime you're working with artists, we talk about creative constraints. You know, what John had to come up with while working in the backyard in the theater and, and budgets, you know, that, that takes your mind in new directions. And normally when we do a keynote, it's an hour, two hours. Mm -hmm. TED Talks have that confined space. Three minutes to 18 minutes at the national show, our talks are eight minutes. So when you have to take, you know, what you were going to do a keynote down into eight minutes, you get, you get the juice. Forced you know? efficiency. Yes. yes it's very and so economical. for a short attention span, look, you know, cut to the chase and you don't get filler. You get, you know, the idea is if you only had the world's attention for a few minutes, what would you want to share? Make us laugh, make us cry, make us feel, make us get out of our chair in excitement. That's what a TED Talk does. Well, we've just had uh, something close to eight minutes and I don't think that was near enough time to explain Theater Bazaar. It's really uh, that... Uh, it fully immersive and, and uh, difficult to describe, but I look forward to your talk coming up this week, and more than that, I look forward to Theater Bazaar next month. Good luck with it. It's going to be a fantastic week here in Detroit. Uh, we come back. Uh, we will say so long to David DiChiara. This is Flashpoint. I'm